Guapo, 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 Hi. Say love you. Love you. <laughs> Honey, where are we? We are at Pigeons Resort. And Pigeon Resort is located where? Valencia. Yes, we are on the border of Kanduai and Valencia. This is a little resort area, day resort and overnight resort that is up here. This is one of the pools. There are three pools. This one is Filipino and foreigner friendly. You got the foreigner side right here, Filipino side over here. Shallow water, deeper water. Chichai can actually, hey! <laughs> Chichai can actually go down to the foreigner side, but she has to like have her face sticking straight up out of the water and she's on her tippy toes. So far, I'm pretty impressed. The only thing I'm not too crazy about are the chairs. This can be cleaned off, all this black stuff, but they haven't, and I don't know. Um, but I like these chairs because they're super comfortable, they're strong, and you get to lean back. It's like an airline seat, 31, 31 inch pitch. So like I said, this is one of the pools. There is another pool up here with a little diving platform. We'll zip around real quick to get over there. For adults, it's 100 pesos, and that is about two dollars USD. So it's very barato. It's very sweet. It's very affordable. Um, it's best to come during the week and actually call ahead to make sure that they're not having any functions, because a lot of people like to have functions and stuff here. Oh, Ate, nice. <laughs> ah, it is. It's very hot. This is the hot pool. Cause this is in the sun all day. So this pool is really hot. This is a kiddie pool right here. And call ahead because sometimes they're having parties, birthday parties. We came here Wednesday and they were having two birthday parties at the same time and the music was blasting. Ooh, jeez. And it was pretty crazy. So call ahead. Cause you don't want a lot of people here. This is the entrance area. There is more than adequate parking. Uh, there is a Copra drying facility right over here. You can see the smoke coming out of that building. They're actually drying Copra in there. We got some nice plants over here. Uh, so that was the kiddie pool. There's another nice pool over here. They also have snacks. We just got some chicharron. We got some piatos, because Zoe likes the piatos. And we got some C2. If you're looking to do some drinking, you can do some drinking because they got Tanduai rum, dark. They got everything basically. It's all back there. You want it? Oh, they got Jim Beam, Kentucky straight bourbon. Making America great again. More alcohol. They also have rooms. Uh, the rooms are like 1500 pesos. They're air conditioned. As you can see, they look very nice from the outside. I haven't been inside but they look nice. This is the upper pool. We're actually getting ready to go to the kids pool with Zoe and have her go down the slide with either me or the wife. So this is a nice pool right here, another pool. This is a kidney pool. Kidney, not kid, kidney. Cause it's shaped like a kidney bean, I guess. And there's the diving platform or jumping platform if you wanna do some diving and jumping. The water's also very clean. They do a good job on that. The grounds are very clean, very immaculate. You know, they, you can tell they do the raking and the sweeping and the stuff every morning. They're actually installing a second floor party area. And let's teleport up there real quick. Let's go, ready? Choo, choo. Whoa, here we are, okay. So, uh, it looks like they're building this as a function hall. Uh, you can do debuts here, you can do birthday parties, you're in, out of the sun, in, out of the rain. And they got the new tile down. It's got a new roof up top. And it looks like it's still being worked on. It's also got a bar. 
and a CR. And if you want to take a nap, some cushions on the floor. So there's that. Uh, also, if you're doing just like a family function or something, you can rent out like this gazebo right here. I forgot how much it costs. I'll try to look up the prices or if I'm too lazy, I won't. I'm probably too lazy. Yeah, I'm gonna be too lazy to look it up. Um, back here are the mountains of Val Valencia. You go up further into the Cuernos de Negros, the Horns of Negros. Uh, further back up there is the power station, the thermal power plant. And you can actually see one of the towers off in the distance that brings the power down to Tan High to cross the Stone Strait over to Cebu Island. Because the thermal plant not only powers Negros, but it's got enough power to power the southern half of Cebu Island. So I gotta tell you guys the God's honest truth. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna publish this video because this is a place I think we're gonna be coming up to. What happened was, the reason I found out about this place, I'd heard about it when I first came back here, back in 2013. And then there was some drama about the place later on. And then there was a guy at the beach and he had like three kids and they were all swimming like fish. And I'm like, dude, you know, where, did they go to swimming lessons? Where did they learn how to swim like that? And he says, oh, we just bring them up to uh, Pigeon Resort. So that's how I found out that, it's, you know, it's got a lot of kid-sized pools, kid-friendly pools. So Zoe can learn how to swim, and she's actually over there swimming right now. And she made friends. Zoe is very much a social butterfly. Uh, unlike my wife and I, we're pretty much introverts. Um, I got no problem, you know, being by myself and just, you know, not really socializing a lot. Zoe, on the other hand, is a complete extrovert. So she always says hi to people. She always wants to meet people. And the kids were all over here earlier swimming and she was, you know, having fun with them and stuff. They were playing peekaboo with her. Cause again, you know, Filipinos, they love family, they love kids. And uh, so she had all the friends that she wanted over here earlier. And she still has, come on Zoe. Zoe, come here. She... Come on Zoe. You swim. Move your arms. Swim like a fish. I think she is running out of energy. She's a boy. She's a boy. She's a boy. She's a She's very tired. You can rest tomorrow when we have all day brown out. Oh, you can do it on your back. Hey, do you have any uh, anything else you want to add to this video? What? Do you want to add it? Bahalaka, it's up to you. Like a hint or something, or maybe we're we'll just gonna tell. I think we could just say it outright at this point. I mean, with the first one, it was a, it was a big celebration, but yeah. we found out yesterday. Yes, we found out yesterday that you are buntis. Yeah, <laughs> the the second baby is coming. Second baby is on its way. We found out yesterday. Yesterday. And we told our, our respective parents, and they're very excited. Very happy. And uh, we're really looking forward to it. Yeah. Um, before before Chicha even got a test, I noticed that. Well, she was. I knew she was a little late, but yeah. um, I did. But she'd, you'd been late before. Yeah, the first one, right? I yeah, was you were late. Five days late. And we were all excited. Then... Yeah. I got my period and we were so disappointed. But I'm almost two weeks late now. Yeah, so, and I noticed some changes in your behavior. Okay. You were going from sad to angry, and you're never, she's never, Chichai, unlike me, is very stable emotionally. Mm -hmm. She's on an even keel. But lately I was just like a tiger. Yeah, roaring. or sad. Today she was crying because she wanted to put wasabi peas and strawberry ice cream, but the wasabi peas were, weren't crunchy anymore because they had been sitting in a bag. So she was crying. And I'm like, honey, you are so pregnant. Bye, boy. And I also noticed that when I was working out at the gym that I was, I always yawn. You were very yawny? Yeah. And I was like, oh, it's something. He's a famous clarinet player, Yanni. Yanni. Zoe, watch out, here comes Zoe. Oh. 
Are you gonna be at She was saying baboy. <laughs> baboy, Zoe. Say baboy. Say baboy. Louder. Baboy. 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 Tell them. I will be at soon. And she always kisses my tummy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is exciting time, man. Uh, again, before coming to the Philippines, I had never been married and never had kids, so this is all a new experience for me. And the, that, this will be the last one. And this is the last one, yeah. My vasectomy is next Thursday. Um, yeah, we're just getting, we're stopping this. This stops here. So, back to the topic at hand. This is just a nice place. And like I was saying earlier, I don't know if I'm going to publish this. Because I think this is one of those places that I just want to keep for myself. I don't want other people around Dumaguete knowing about this. But if you're going to come here, like I said, uh, come during the week. Come during the day. It's actually open till 9 o'clock at night. We're probably going to leave a little late after it gets dark. Because we got the nice breeze going. And be sure to call ahead to make sure that there's no parties, functions, debuts, marriage receptions, anything going on. Because... You know, people. No matter where you are in the world, people. Oh, one last thing. You see that antenna up there? Back in 2013, if you were outside of the Dumaguete city limits, that's basically what you were limited to for internet. That is a, either a globe system or it's a smart bro system. And it's basically just like a 3G antenna. I don't even think, it's not 4G, it's 3G. And that's how you got your internet back in the day. And it was horrible. Also some cottage you can rent over here. I don't know how much these are. They also got the little things, the little, you know, cottages and stuff. You can sit there for day resort purposes. And for all of you complaining that we're not putting out enough content or it's all family stuff, yeah. It's my YouTube channel. I put out what I want when I want. I'm not in this for the money. I'm not in this for the views. I just do a lot of these because my fam, my mom and dad, want to see their granddaughter. Go swim, Zoe. Swim, Zoe. Swim. Go get Bye-boy. 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 Say bye-boy. Bye-boy. Say daddy, bye-boy. Say guapo, guapo. Say guapo. Guapo, guapo. guapo, guapo. guapo, guapo. Daddy. Daddy. Daddy's guapo guapo bob boy. Daddy's a handsome pig. <laughs> Alright, so that's basically it. Uh, until next time, this is Ned. Tea time. And that is baby Zoe, puppies, rainbows, unicorns, and second born children for all. See you next time. On my Philippine dreams. Kiss your face. It's like you're choking her. Zoe! Bye boy! Say bye boy! Bye boy! Bye boy! Bye boy! Ah, the bye boy's floating! Hey, if you consider our work to be of any value, consider supporting us on Patreon. If you're a Patreon, you get a free copy of my ebook and we do monthly Google Hangouts. So consider doing that, if you would please.